When it comes to most mystery manga and anime, you might think of serious stories like Death Note, Steins Gate, or Monster for the more cultured, but I found one that doesn't fit the mold and stands out amongst these giants with 99% less action. So you may or may not have heard of the Apothecary Diaries. Doesn't ring a bell? Well I was in your shoes about 72 hours ago, and now it's easily become one of my favorite slice of life, romance, Chinese themed drama, and most of all mystery series. Mao Mao is a young girl trying to get by, picking up herbs on her way home until the unexpected happens. You see, in Imperial China there's a divide between royalty, which is everyone who's inside the emperor's imperial court, and then there's everyone else. Mao Mao was part of the everyone else, and on this walk is where she gets kidnapped and is forced to become a low level servant inside the emperor's palace. And this doesn't actually change her life. You see, she's a pharmacist even at such a young age. Mao Mao weirdly loves to experiment with poisons and medicine, so becoming a servant only made it an inconvenience to her hobby as she planned to work until her years of serving were over. But one day she catches wind of the fact that the emperor's two kids have fallen gravely ill. Figuring out the cause of the poison was the makeup the mother was wearing, so she writes this on a note and warns the royal family. But Mao Mao's attempt to remain anonymous backfires, as she soon catches the eye of Jin Shi, a key person, an influential eunuch who recognizes her talents. She soon finds herself in a different situation, where she's inside the emperor's inner court, where she becomes the royal poison tester and unofficial detective. Now this is where her nearly perfect story begins. If I was Mao Mao, I would just recommend everyone to safely get the best Japanese snack boxes around. Thank you Tokyo Tree and Sakuraku for sponsoring the video. Tokyo Tree is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box, which bring you up to 20 of the latest and full-size seasonal flavored snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time such as Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake, Kit Kats, Ramen, and much more. And to accompany your Tokyo Treat snack box, Sakuraku, the monthly Japanese snack box, has you covered. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, teas, and exclusive tableware, which Sakuraku locally sources and supports Japanese snack makers. This month's theme is all about celebrating Tsukimi, the Japanese moon viewing festival, a centuries-old tradition that brings appreciation for the beauty of the autumn moon and to give thanks for the harvest. We invite you to celebrate Tsukimi together with a specially designed snack box filled with Japanese Tsukimi themed snacks. Perfect for enjoying under the moonlight with your friends and family. They come with these cool booklets that explain all the snacks and traditions behind them. We want to invite you, your friends, or your family to experience Japan from the comfort of your home. Use my link in the description to get your boxes and support the channel. Now back to the video. By far the best part of the story has to be Mao Mao. She absolutely carries the series. She only has one goal, and that's to cook. Making medicine, of course. Seriously, she's one of the best characters I've had the pleasure of viewing in recent memory. She's witty, but not a pretentious know-it-all charismatic, even when she has no right to be, after getting kidnapped of course, and on top of it she's even a little crazy. I mean her love for poison is just borderline insane, but the passion she radiates more than makes up for it. So yes, you'll have a good time following her. But before I leave this point, I'd like to make it know that Mao Mao is no pushover. She'll absolutely throw down gloves when need be. Next are the many mysteries and drama. Without going into many spoilers, throughout the story expect many anthology-like scenarios. Not that there aren't any overarching plots, but keep that in mind. My favorite part is seeing Mao Mao unfold these mysteries in very creative ways. For example, at a family dinner of about 20 people, Mao Mao finds a way to dust fingers on a bowl and deduces the amount of people who touch the bowl and also the intentions of the people and how they touch the bowl. I don't know if I should suspend my belief or be impressed. Keep in mind too that this is ancient China, and along with the mysteries, the drama in this story mixes well like a fine wine with cheese. You see, instead of the emperor's royal court, he has a literal harem of wives. So it's not surprising that there's lots of infighting, attempted unaliving, and lots of backstabbing. So Mao Mao definitely has her work cut out for her. With the current 63 chapters that I've read so far, the only thing bringing this series down is the fact that there's not enough material at the moment. I absolutely look forward to seeing what this series holds, especially with the last chapter's cliffhanger. In conclusion, I bet you can't wait for the Apothecary Diaries anime to drop this fall season. So I recommend that you dive into the manga and let me know how you like it. If you're interested in collecting the volumes, check the description down below. It has my shop and you can definitely support me by just picking up the series. Until next time, adios familia.